You started a club. Yes. Like most, you know, working moms, you get home and you got kids and you want to whip something up in the kitchen and you need a little help. Yeah, and then I'm going back to work. So it's like squeezing in this, you know, trying to make it inexpensive, trying to make it something that all of us do. It's this like issue that I think a lot of parents just end up having. Uh, so instead of a book club, I'm starting a cook club. And just to let you know, this recipe made my kid down kale chips. Here it is. <laughs> This goo is on fire. Oh, no, no, that's the way that it likes it, nice and hot and nice and spicy. It's a daily struggle we can all relate to. What's for dinner? So, every day, about 2 o'clock, I have a bit of a freak out, and that is I don't know what to make for dinner. Now I've got two kids who actually have taste buds, a husband who also has taste buds, preferences, myself who's trying to stay like within certain guidelines of diets and you know, just being healthy, and it's really hard. All right, we made it, we're in the kitchen. So to help me get out of my dinner rut, I called in an expert, Smitten Kitchen's Deb Perlman. I have helped, this is my dream come true. Deb, help me. Deb came by my house to help me cook some new healthy dinner options that will hopefully be loved by all my boys, Adrian, Miles, and Ben. First up, a baked ziti type dish that she calls pizza beans. I wanted to play around with the idea of a baked ziti, but without pasta. I'm not opposed to pasta, we eat pasta plenty, but we don't want to eat it as often as the kids want to eat it. My husband and children would eat pasta every single night <laughs> and every lunch for the rest of time, but like that's not in my plan. Starting, we'll have some onion, celery, carrot. One of Deb's tips, stick with familiar flavors, then add a twist. I yeah. realized a couple years ago that my kids would eat almost anything that was in a tomato sauce. Find a sauce, like maybe they like a soy ginger glaze, and that's where you can add like a new grain or a new bean. Another tip from Deb, find ways to add nutrition to your kids' favorite foods. So next up, we're making a healthier, creamy potato soup. We used to make baked potato soup in my family. Mm -hmm. um, my kids loved it. Like it was like potatoes, a little bit of like cream, the and then you kind yeah. of fix it with bacon and chives and cheese. It was like a bit much. And I wanted to play around with kind of lightening it up a little bit. Instead of being a potato soup, it's a potato and bean soup. Love a good protein yeah. bean. And a side of kale chips. I'm the most inconsistent kale chip maker I believe that there is in the world. <laughs> it's really tricky. You really want to have them in one layer. Okay. While the kale chips crisp up, it's time to blend our soup. Oh, that looks like a fun tool. <laughs> These two dinners are just the beginning. Now I want your help. Just like a book club, we're starting Ginger's Cook Club so we can all cook together. Use my little handheld blender. And share recipes, meal prep tips, and other mealtime solutions. Okay, so moment of truth. I've got everybody here, Miles, Adrian, and Ben. Yes. Lots is. of different okay. tastes. Who's the toughest customer, be honest? <laughs> In my family, kale is not like the most agreeable thing. So I find that when I make it into chips yep. and the kids can crumble it on their soup, they're like, oh, this is so much fun. We, we call those Doritos. Okay, yeah. are they, yeah. so would you like some kale Doritos? You want a Dorito, <laughs> little boy? Miles, you want to try this? Mm. Mm. Wow. Okay, Adrian, did you like this food? Yeah? Are you a part of Ginger's Cook Club? High five. Uh, yes. Two thumbs up. You can get all the recipes, by the way, on our website, and I am inviting all of you to cook that healthier baked potato soup with me today. You just head to my Facebook page for the shopping list, and at 4 p.m. Eastern, I'm going to do it live with you. You just tag Ginger's Cook Club. I want to put your videos on, and then I want you to drop your recipes so we oh, can make them. Oh, this is a brilliant idea. Brilliant. Love it. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.